We come to you once again from the offices of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association here in Denver, Colorado. The men and women in this organization work every day to build a better business climate for cattle producers and to protect and enhance demand for beef. Proverbs tells us many hands make a workload light. That's true when working on the farm and ranch, and it's true with the effort to build beef demand. We as beef producers are stronger when we join together in our outreach to encourage consumer demand for beef. That basic concept is part of the reason the Federation of State Beef Councils even exists. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the structure and role of the Federation, which is a division of NCBA. We begin with Cattleman to Cattleman reporter, Brian Baxter. For more than 50 years, the Federation of State Beef Councils has been a force for grassroots participation in beef checkoff programs. The Federation is made up of the 45 qualified state beef councils that collect the $1 per head beef checkoff. Those partnering states see the value in putting their dollars where they'll do the most good. For example, the Federation provides many services to states that can't afford to purchase them on their own or who just want to leverage their promotion dollars. The role of the Federation is really the ability to bring the dollar back together. Obviously, as states collect the dollar, 50 cents mandatorily goes to the CBB, but then the other 50 cents they can voluntarily use in their state or you know, give to the Federation, and that is how we bring the dollar back together to benefit the entire industry. In Nebraska, we feel very strongly about that because we are a very high population beef state, but not a very high population people state. The New York Beef Council, for example, they don't even collect half a million dollars a year, and then when they have to give half of that to the CBB, they're left with basically a quarter of a million. And so you think about that and all the people that they have, we need to put the money where the people are. And so by, by utilizing the Federation and, and pooling our money together, we can add another, I believe the budget is about nine to 10 million to put into digital advertising, nutrition programs that can benefit states such as New York. Although the Federation's primary goals have stayed the same through the years, the way it carries out its mission has changed with the times. For instance, targeting millennial consumers has become a key strategy in the current beef promotion program. There's so many opportunities to reach out to them, and they're so interested in what we're doing and how we produce the product that they love, that it's a really exciting time for us. We feel like we're moving in the right direction and we have a lot of momentum to continue going in that direction. The opportunities are endless and one of the benefits of utilizing social media is that we can get data back that tells us how successful we've been. And that's new for us and really exciting. State beef councils have proven to be critical in the success of the beef checkoff program and the news for beef checkoff investors couldn't be better. An independent study shows that from 2006 to 2013, each beef checkoff dollar invested delivered an $11.20 return. There's not a lot of not a lot of things that you can invest a dollar in and get eleven dollars and twenty cents back. And so I think that's really key about the checkoff because we've been doing this for so long. We have great partnerships that we we work with, and we have figured out the way to really maximize that dollar. And so that comes back to the producer in in a variety of ways. And eleven dollars and twenty cents isn't bad. I'm Brian Baxter reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.